Recently, I filmed a video on the importance of using a vacuum extractor when changing your engine oil in your older Mercedes. Now, this can apply to any car. And I used my 1979 300 SD as an example. And there's one thing I forgot to talk to you about. This is really important. I don't think I've done a video on this to date, but it needs to be mentioned. And that is these little O-rings right here, two little O-rings on the end of the shaft on your oil filter housing cap. You know, th these were used on most all the diesels from 1977 to 1985 in the U.S. market. And a lot of people, they'll go to change their oil, they'll put in a new uh, filter cartridge, and they'll just put this back down in there with no regard to these two little O-rings. Now, what do these O-rings do, first off? And secondly, what, how, do you, how can you tell if they're bad? So I wanna show you this up close so you, you can see, we've got an example here of a oil filter housing cap that was removed and I saved it because I wanted to use this as an example and you can see uh, the condition of these particular O-rings, I, I expect they've been on this shaft for years and years. So, so let's take a look. You can see that these two O-rings are located right on the end of the shaft. They're intended to keep oil in the oil filter housing. So when you start up your engine, there's oil there, you're going to get rapid and almost immediate engine oil pressure. So if these O-rings are bad, it's going to allow all the oil to drain out of the housing. And when you start your engine, you may notice a long delay in the oil pressure coming up. So that's a sign that you may have bad O-rings there. But take a look at these O-rings. They're not round, notice that? They're square. <laughs> and they're very, very hard. Um, so that's why I think these have probably been in for years. So I'm gonna take this little pick tool here. Let's see just how hard these are. And when they're real hard like this, they will not even stretch. Um, in fact, they can be a pain to get off. See that? I'm not even able to get under the O-ring. Look at that. You can see that the only way to get that O-ring off is to break it. And if you compare it with a new O-ring, look at the difference. You can see this O-ring is flattened out, that O-ring is nice and soft and round. And of course, replacing the O-rings are very simple. All you have to do is just push them on over the end and roll them right up into the groove. Now you can tell the difference. See how this new O-ring is actually sitting out beyond the end of the shaft where the old O-ring is almost flush with it. So you can tell if you pull your uh, oil filter housing out, you can look at these, but I kind of re recommend uh, that you change these on a regular basis, and we'll discuss that a little bit more in detail now. The new rings are installed, and this oil filter cap is ready to reinstall. I would recommend that you just put a light coating of engine oil on these to help them go down in and seat into the bottom of the housing. Now, let's take a look at these, these ones I removed here. I mentioned uh, that they would get brittle, and that's due to heat. You know, uh, over time, the heat will affect this rubber and they'll get as hard as a rock. And if you look here, I can take these and squeeze on them and they don't even bend, they just, you know, break into little pieces here. There's no flex in this at all. Maybe this one has a little bit of flex, but you can see they just, they just fall apart with a little stress on them. So it's real important you check these every time you do an oil change. I mean, if, if you have a cracked one, that, that's a real problem. So how often should you do this? I recommend that you do it every third oil change. You don't have to do it every oil change. They will last you know, longer than, but if you say, okay, every 10,000 miles or every 12,000 miles, however you do your oil change, or once a year if, if you don't drive the car a lot. But this is something you need to pay attention to, and we do carry these in packs of four on our website. They're not expensive. You can just follow the link in the description if you want to purchase some of these. You could purchase, you know, two or three packs so you have enough for a few years. And as, as a bonus here, as I'm going to call this a tip bonus. I saw something on this 
uh, oil filter housing cap that I want to show you. Um, and this is, has to do with preventative maintenance on diesel engines. And if any of you have been around these, you know what happens due to the high vibration of these engines when you let things rub together on the engine. Take a look at this, this cap. Now, granted, this isn't, you know, the cap is so thick, it's not going to probably wear through. But can you imagine uh, whoever owned this car, they just let their check valves and their vacuum lines just lay on top of the housing. Isn't that amazing? what vibration can do to something like this. So when you're working around your diesel engine, use Velcro, use zip ties, and tie things out of the way so they're not resting on any part of the engine, and you'll be really glad you did that as well.